In this video, we'll solve the equation x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0 by factoring. And we'll use these guidelines here to help us do that. The first one, set up your skeleton equation. That'll look like this right here. So we have our skeleton equation, and once we have that, then we can add the signs in to the skeleton equation. So because these are all positive here, if all of the terms are positive, we're going to just have positives in our skeleton equation. So let's just put positives here. And once we've got those signs, now we can find the factors for the last term. That's 12 that add up to the middle term. That's the 7 there. So we'd have 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and then 3 times 4. Those are the factors of 12. And we can see that 3 times 4, so if we added 3 and 4 together, that would give us 7. So we'll put a 3 here and a 4 here, and this should be factored. But we can check our work using the FOIL method. So we multiply the first terms, x times x, that gives us x squared, plus the second term, x times 4, that's 4x, inside 3 times x is 3x, and then the last, 3 times 4, that gives us 12 we add these terms together here, we'll get 7x. x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. That's the same thing here. So we know that this is correct. We should find the values for x that'll make this side of the equation equal to 0. Let's do that. So we could say x plus 3 equals 0. We add a minus 3 to both sides. x equals minus 3. Over here, x plus 4 equals 0, add minus 4 to both sides, x equals minus 4. And what that means is if you put minus 4 in for x here, and you add these numbers up, all of this will equal 0. Likewise, if you put minus 3 in for x, and you did the math, you would get 0 as well, meaning that these are the correct numbers. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. You could also use the quadratic equation and you would get these same values here. Thanks for watching.